Hey everybody, Jordan Yates here. Welcome back to my channel and my soldering for beginners journey. Today we're going to be soldering together this cute little lamp that I got off of Amazon. It was super cheap and very, very fun. So if you look inside here, we did an awesome job soldering everything and we got it to work. You know, my last few projects did not turn on the first time, so I'm pretty happy about this one. And I think if you are following along and doing your own, you will also have a lot of fun. So if you're just watching to enjoy soldering or you're watching because you got one as well, then you're in the right place. So let's get into it, guys. Come on. <laughs> going to start off with U1 which is our first integrated circuit. We're going to make sure that the notches line up on the board. There's a little indent on the top and we want to have it facing the right way so our IC works. Going to get it all soldered on. There you go. Flip it over. It looks amazing. See the notch at the top. Next we have a four prong little on and off switch. It's going to be S1. We're going to push that into our board and then flip it over and get it soldered on. Awesome job. All right, there you go. We are getting it connected to the board. Wonderful. Now for our next switch, S2. It's gonna be the six prong switch and it does have polarity. You can see there's a small notch on the bottom of the board and the switch itself. Make sure that those are lined up because direction does matter. So there you go, we're going to solder this on as well. Then we're going to do our linear voltage regulator, which is U3. So we're gonna put that in the board and this one is easy to have facing the right way because you can match the shape of the board to the shape of the components outline. Then we're going to have our Q1 and Q2 transistors. We're going to push those into the board up there and get this all set before we flip it over and solder. We got one more I see here and this is going to be put in the board over on U2. This is an infrared sensor I see. All right, so we're gonna flip it over and solder it all in. Awesome work guys, cut those leads off and keep on going. Next we have R1, which is our 15 kilo ohm resistor. We're gonna put it through the board. Great job. Okay, now we have R2 and R3, which are one kilo ohm resistors. Going to get those through the board as well. And then we have R4, which is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Great job. And then R5, R6, R7, and R8, which are 33 ohm resistors. Going to get all of these placed in our board before we flip it over and solder it. Now, the first time around, I didn't really do a great job at soldering these, so I went back later and I fixed them. If you ever want to fix a bad through hole solder and you want to get the component more flush with the board, what you need to do is just heat up the joint and push the component through the board until it's flush. It's really easy because there's barely any solder on each joint. So we're going to flip up our leads and cut them off. Great job. There we go, looking good. Now we have C1 and C2, which are little ceramic capacitors. Gonna get those in their spots. It took me a minute to find C2 because of that shadow, but not too shabby. We're going here and we're going to solder those on as well. There you go. Flip it over, looking good, friends. Now we have C3 and C4. These are gonna be our aluminum capacitors and they do have polarity. So take your long lead and stick it through the side that has the plus. And then once again, we just solder it on. Polarity is important, everyone, so please pay attention. Great job. 
Next, we have our diodes. So there's a lot of these here. You're gonna see each one has a longer leg and a shorter leg. The longer leg goes through the square hold shape on the board, okay? You need to make sure you have your diodes facing the right way or things are just going to go very badly when you wanna go and turn this on. It may not work. So these need to be placed in correctly and we're gonna get all 18 of them on the board. Look at all of these solders you get to do at once. How satisfying and exciting is this? So just go through and solder each and every one on. tell me that was not super satisfying okay now we want to power this beautiful board up okay so we have our red and black wire which connect to a 9 volt battery so we're gonna see that we have the red wire which is the positive one so we're going to stick that through the square shaped hole I know this isn't the best way to do it but sometimes I just like to melt it on with the um, plastic that's around the wire and then get that to hold it in place so I can add my solder on correctly. So I realized that I also need to have this power adapter connected as well because it does not work without the battery if your power connector is not also on here. Even if you're not plugging it in, I think that it needs to be there to close the circuit. I learned this the hard way because when I first plugged in my battery, it didn't work and I freaked out and it was like, no, I did not fail at this again. So even if you don't want to plug it in with a cord and you want to use a battery, make sure you still put the power adapter on there, okay? Close that circuit. And look at this. How gorgeous is our little lamp? I was so, so happy that this worked. The last two projects I did with LEDs did not turn out well. I could not get it to turn on and I messed up so many things. So I was so happy that this worked. Now we have to finish it and put it inside of its box so it looks like a proper little lamp. So this part's pretty easy. We just screw in all of the little screws with their plastic tubing. And then once we finish that up, we're gonna put it inside of its plastic case. Nothing too fancy, but it does look pretty satisfying. So here we go. Get everything in there nicely, close it up, and you can press the on off switch through the plastic, which I liked because it's pretty raised, but I wasn't able to do it with the one that changes it from all the lights on to just the outer ring on. So I had to open it back up to get that working, which is totally fine. I thought it was still cool that we could turn it on and off from the outside. So here we go, opening it up. And look at that, isn't it just absolutely amazing? I cannot wait to see how all of yours turn out.